Here we're going to investigate the plant hormone cytokinin. Now as the image shows here, it's two cells dividing. Remember this process is called cytokinesis. So it's no surprise that cytokinins are involved with cell division. So the main functions of cytokinins, well the first one is of course promoting that cell division to occur. Now cell division remembers mitosis in that process. So that if cytokinins create more cell division or more mitosis, we know that more mitosis and more cell division simply mean more cells, and more cells relates to plant growth. So cytokines are involved in plant growth. In addition to cell division, they also are responsible for lateral bud development. So remember along our stems we have these lateral buds, and cytokines will cause that to be able to grow outward at that node uh, along the stem. The last main function of cytokines is delay senescence. What senescence is, is when leaves um, basically age and develop and drop off the plant. So they can delay that process from occurring. They can keep leaves on plants more useful and on the plants longer. So the first one, cytokines promote cell division. Well, cytokines are actually first shown to stimulate cell division. Looking at a root tip here, um, it's an area where there's a lot of mitosis going on, a lot of cell division, a lot of cytokines. That plant hormones uh, exist very high in this particular region of the plant. Also germinating seeds, cytokines can be found. And just as a reminder, cytokinins, cytokinesis sound very similar, and that can help you remember that cytokinins are involved in cell division. Cytokines increase lateral bud formation. So we see here our lateral buds kind of branching out. Cytokines are involved in that. They release buds from apical dominance. If you remember from the auxin uh, video lecture and talked about apical dominance, we see auxins and cytokinins kind of play off one another. When auxins are in high concentration, we see rooting um, on shoots. We see root callus forming. As we're reducing our auxin levels, we're increasing our cytokinin levels here, we see auxiliary buds developing. So cytokinin is responsible for those lateral buds to form. That's an evidence that cytokines are in higher proportion than auxins, because auxins are going to favor that apical dominance. So again, you can see another example here of how two hormones interact with one another. Keep in mind that these hormones do exist in very small amounts, but they can have very large impacts on plant behavior. Cytokines delay leaf senescence. It's called the fountain of youth hormone. So by delaying or even reversing this process, uh, plant leaves could maintain their chlorophyll longer, could delay protein de degradation, and increase the lifespan and drought tolerance of several plant species. We see that here, a plant that's been applied with cytokinins keeps the leaves greener longer instead of this plant here that has these dead dried out leaves. This is important here in tobacco plants, uh, especially here in Connecticut. We grow a lot of tobacco for final wrappers for cigars, and the goal is to keep those leaves as youthful and as large as possible. Uh, we don't want plants going into senescence here where they get kind of crinkly and dried out. They're not really any good for the wrappers of cigars. By applying cytokinins in some cases, this could be a way, the fountain of youth hormone, to keep the leaves nice, young, and youthful for longer periods of time. Lastly, um, this is demonstrating cytokinins and induced nutrient movement. So we have three different plants here, dicots, and they could be uh, squash uh, seedlings, for example, and we're having um, a cytokinin-treated leaf that shows the presence of a radio-labeled tagged amino acid which is transferred from the untreated site, but tagged leaf site. So what this actually means here is we have three plants, and we've applied a tagged amino acid here on these leaves. We'll notice here um, we, that tagged amino acid remains in this leaf. The other side's been sprayed with just a surfactant, that's just basically a carrier that's put in water. This indicates that those radioactive labeled amino acids stayed here. Here we applied the radioactive amino acid also to this leaf, but we treated this other leaf on the opposite side with a cytokinin. We noticed that basically moved over, called those nutrients over, moved those radioactively labeled amino acids over to this leaf, evident by the dark green color. Here, just as a check, we applied the radioactive uh, amino acid and the cytokinins here. We noticed that they stayed in that leaf. So this shows the influence that cytokinins can have on calling over certain nutrients and indicating that cellular division. If it's going to increase cellular division, it's probably going to require more nutrients, and that's 
part of the reason why cytokines can influence plant behavior in the sense of allocation of certain nutrients. Hopefully that was helpful in explaining a little bit about the impact cytokines can have on plants.